Uh, good afternoon, dear students. Today we are going to talk about uh, qualitative and quantitative business methods. So let's look at the basic differences between qualitative research methods and quantitative research methods. So quantitative research methods is based on meaning derived from numbers. That means quantitative deals with numbers. While qualitative research method is based on meaning expressed through words. For example, doing first is one feeling and experience. You express your feelings, you share your experiences in a word. Okay, so that is qualitative research. Then quantitative uh, research method collect uh, research result in numerical and standardized data. Okay. While quantitative uh, qualitative research methods collect results in non-standardized data, requiring classification into Then quantitative data uh, research method likes to prove causal relationship. Okay, so they test hypothesis. Okay, that there is a relationship between X and Y, or there is the impact of of A on B, something like this. Okay, so the qualitative quantitative research method looks for causal relationship, test causal relationship, while qualitative now, research method emphasis on the individual, groups, communities. That means they focus a small sample size. Okay, it can be uh, ten or less than ten. Okay. Then, for uh, quantitative analysis conducted through the use of diagram and statistics. Okay, so quantitative uh, research method, the researcher use or analyze data using diagrams. Okay, different types of diagrams like histogram, pie chart, okay, bar chart, and so on, and also use the statistics like frequency, uh, percentage, okay, mean, standard deviation, then inferential statistics, okay, regression, and so on. But for qualitative analysis conducted through the use of conceptualization, that means you conceptualize the information your findings okay for qualitative research uh, <clears throat> then in terms of aspects okay so how to write the research question for quantitative and qualitative okay we always ask this question how to write research question for quantitative and qualitative so you may look at this slide. How to write this as question for quantitative? You may start with how many, how much, how often. Okay. So and for qualitative, how to start? You can start with what is the experience because you have to know someone's experience, someone's feelings, opinion, pattern of behavior. So you can start with what? Then type of question. What type of question? You need to state okay for quantitative. So for quantitative research question should be precise and it should give numeric answer. Okay. For qualitative, this research type of question should be broad and verbal should require verbal answer. Okay. Then hypothesis, yeah. For research, we need to develop hypothesis. So how to present uh, Hypothesis for quantitative at the beginning you need to present your research research hypothesis for quantitative research and qualitative may emerge from a study. That means you can develop hypothesis based on your finding. Okay. Then issues described. Okay. How to describe the issues related to your quantitative research and qualitative research for quanti quantitative through eyes of researcher, okay, as a researcher, you will describe what you understand from your perspective, the researcher perspective. But for qualitative, you need to describe through eyes of respondents what they feel, what's their experience, what's their opinion, what's their behavioral pattern, okay. So
so you need to describe through eyes of respondents for qualitative research then data collection how to data collect data collection for quantitative is extensive because you have need to collect data from large sample size but qualitative is intensive because if if you have less sample size no problem shouldn't be any problem for qualitative research is not an issue so as i mentioned the sample size should be large for quantitative and qualitative sample size should be small then sample of course for quantitative sample size should be representative of the population okay for but, but qualitative this requirement is not for qualitative because qualitative uh, sample size should be relevant the purpose of sampling okay so uh, so qualitative research sample size does not represent of the population is relevant to the population okay then in terms of <coughs> generalizability quantitative research generalizability is very high but for qualitative you cannot generalize because your sample size does not represent the population then analytical approach so is for quantitative we use deductive approach for qualitative we use inductive approach so what is inductive and deductive we have talked about it in details earlier lecture okay then how to design qualitative sampling studies okay so basically for qualitative research we use non probability sampling technique or sampling studies so we can use purposive it is also called judgmental sampling okay so purposive sampling is also known as judgmental selective or subjective sampling so in judgmental sampling you decide the purpose you want informants or communities to serve and you go out to find some okay according to Bar Bar barnard 2000 okay or then you can use snowball sampling okay so ask its member to introduce you to someone else okay so you can use snowball sample for qualitative research okay then quota sampling okay is predetermined number of people with certain criteria i'm not going to give you uh, i'm not going to discuss in details what is purpose what is snowball quota sampling because we already we have already discussed in earlier presentation so what is probability sampling what is non probability sampling then what are the types of non probability sampling with example okay so if you are not clear so you may look at that the previous lecture okay then data collection methods in uh, qualitative research okay basically we can use four methods for qualitative data collection number one is interview okay then observation group discussion and document analysis okay so interview what is interview the purpose of interview is to get in-depth responses about people's experiences opinions perception feelings and knowledge so if you want to know someone's experience someone opinions of about a specific issue or perception about something okay or their feelings or their understanding of that issue so you can have in-depth interview okay so how to conduct interview there are some stages you need to follow for having interview interviewing number one thematize define what is the purpose and goals okay then design layout process and open-ended question okay so question should be open-ended because you want to know their experience or opinion okay their perception so you the question should be open-ended not closer and that yes or no or like a scale okay not the scale okay so it should be open -ended. then interview okay then you start to have interview okay then trans transcribe okay to written text sometimes okay you cannot remember we cannot remember what the respondents are saying so you can record it but with their permission okay then analyze figure out what it means okay so you have to analyze their information okay 
so simply you, you cannot present what they have said to you so you need to analyze their information they're saying okay so you need to analyze critically okay then verify check reliability and validity okay so we'll talk about it how to check reliability and validity of qualitative data okay then finally you need to report okay finally you need to report so you know how to write a qualitative you need to know the structure of writing qualitative research okay then let's talk about observation this is second method of collecting qualitative data field description of activities okay behaviors actions then conversation interpersonal interactions organizational or community process or any other aspect of observable human experience so you can observe the respondents the participants activities okay their behavior their action okay conversation how they talk okay then you can analyze okay then interpersonal interaction how they interact each other okay then also the organizational or community process okay from your observation so you can use this technique to collect uh, qualitative data then data consists of field notes okay rich detailed description included in a context within which the observations were made okay then third method is group discussion okay so group discussion is refers to focus group discussion so a research method of interviewing people while they are inter interacting in a small groups okay so 10 uh, less um, uh, is a minimum 10 and maximum is up to you 10 20 30 but don't go uh, don't consider too many people in your group this focus group discussion okay then groups formed by researcher okay so the researcher will form the group okay who will be the participant or who will be the like, focus group discussion okay then not a representative sample okay yeah as i mentioned earlier that qualitative research uh, sample size does not represent the population okay not a representative sample then usually three or more people as i mentioned earlier then discussion of a specific topic or a problem okay so it should be relevant to your research question or research objective okay then used in marketing politics businesses or organizations yeah we use this technique this data collection method for qualitative research in the field of marketing politics businesses and organizations okay so it is flexible fast Face validity, reliability, relatively low cost. Okay, then difficult to assemble, but there is some disadvantage. Of course, it's difficult to assemble and moderate, difficult to analyze data, less control by researcher. Okay, so you have to form a research uh, focus group. Sometimes it is not uh, easy to form this uh, focus group discussion. Who will be the participant? How to collect them? How to gather them? Okay, so how to moderate them? Okay. And then later on you need to analyze so the qualitative data is uh, need to analyze uh, needs to be analyzed but sometimes it's uh, difficult and you uh, the researcher cannot control okay the, because the respondents will give their opinion their experience okay their uh, uh, knowledge understanding okay they will share their understanding okay then the la uh, fourth method is uh, documents and other materials which is uh, referred to the document analysis written materials and other documents program records memoranda correspondence official publications and reports personal diaries letters artistic work photographs and memoro memo revelia okay and written responses to open-ended surveys okay so these are the reading materials you can use book magazine newspaper articles okay the his uh, the record book report book okay the diary and so on okay so the data consists of expert from documents capture in a way that records and preserve on the text okay so we end our discussion uh, here thank you